As much as I enjoyed working in finance, I wanted to do more with my time. And so I decided to just quit one day and uh, have about a one-way ticket to London and then started traveling around the world. And because I had photography as a hobby, you know, I put together this sort of time-lapse video of all the places I went to and I tried to distill down, you know, months and months of travel into a few minutes. When I came back, instead of taking another job in business or finance, I decided to kind of give myself, you know, two to three years to see if I can do something in the arts. I get more time to travel, I get more time to learn new skills, have new hobbies, and then the time to actually go and see places, experience things, and be able to, you know, capture that with the photography. The idea that you can learn anything anywhere nowadays. That's what pushes me to do whatever I do every day is the idea that if I get bored of something, I can pick up a new skill, I can pick up like a new area of knowledge and um, you know, I can do it you know, in San Francisco where I live or I can do it you know, somewhere else in the world. I think art is probably one of the best mediums as far as like, inspiring people to do anything. It's just the last few years in the explosion of videos. We think about videos that really kind of capture the imagination of people. I'd like for whatever I do to inspire you know, everyone to kind of go out there and want to explore and see the world.